Here's a very simple money trick. Borrow a note. Any note at all will do. Um, obviously the higher the value, the more important the trick. So borrow a note from someone. You then proceed to roll the note up into a very tight shape like so. Until you end up with that. That's what you're looking for. You then go. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. The kids love it as well if you do it to them, um, but not as a serious magic trick. All right, I'll get on with it. I used to be somebody, you know. So this is a trick anyway. You take a borrowed note like so, uh, you then take the money, you go like so, give it a little wiggle, and it's gone. And you can find it back under your arm. Or you can quite simply go and it's gone. Now you're going to have to stay tuned to find the secret. Now the secret for the money trick is very easy, but that's the case with most tricks, isn't it? Borrow a note. As I said before, uh, the higher the value, the better the trick, the more interest it keeps. Roll the note into a tight, tight squeeze like so, to end up like that. Now you can do the same trick with a cigarette, a toothpick, or a match, a birthday cake candle, anything like that. Uh, so there's your money. You then now this is the important part, find a sticky thing. For me, I use double-sided sellotape, stuck on the back of my thumb, just there. You can't see it, but it's just there. Um, if you haven't got that available, some people use chewing gum. There's blue tack, any sticky substance whatsoever. You can even take a normal piece of sellotape, roll it round and stick it on your thumb like so. That's the secret. It's very simple, as I said. But you've got to keep that hidden. That's the hard part. So. You take the money, you perform some silly little flourish like I did, which was that. Um, if you haven't seen that before, all you're doing is just letting the, the money just slide into your thumb and fingers like so. So it goes in there, out your mouth. Looks silly, but it's fun. Uh, you then stick the money onto your thumb like so. And that's the secret. It's that movement. Hold the thumb like that. So you're actually holding your hand like so. Looks as if you're holding the money. As your hand comes around to do the vanish, it's gone. As you do it, it's like this. Your hand comes around, I'll show you from the side. Your hand comes around, pretends to take the money, but what you're actually doing is flicking the, the money over like so. So you then pretend to take the money, your eyes follow this hand, because this is where the action is, and it's gone. In the meantime, facing from the front, I'll show you again. So you pretend to take the money, flick your thumb back, this leaves this hand empty, you just wiggle your fingers, gives you an excuse then to keep your thumb upright so they can't actually see the money. Go like that. All times focus on this hand because this is where you want the audience to, to watch. So, and it's gone. To produce it under your arm, you simply raise your arm, flick your thumb over like so, grab hold of it, undercover, and there it is again. Now to make it completely vanish, hold your hands up here like this, give it a little as you blow, focus on the hands and raise your thumb like that. If you do this hand as well at the same time, it distracts from the fact that you've got it strapped to this thumb here. So from the beginning, it's this, gone, under your arm, there's the money, gone. It's magic. Again, practice in front of the mirror. That's the most important. You need to practice in front of a mirror so you can see exactly what the audience is seeing. But it's that move there. Now, if you're out and about and you're doing this and you found a, a piece of sticky tape or, or, or a piece of gum that you've stuck to your thumb like so, stick your thumb on there. It's most important you don't end the trick there because then you're stuck. You've got nowhere else to go. And people will be saying, well, where's the money? Let me have a look at your hands. So the best thing to do is, once you've vanished it like that, is then to reappear it, again, under your arm or from behind a child's ear, like so, and then peel it off and give it back to the person you borrowed it from. That way you're left free and you can walk away and no one's going to inspect your hands, they just think it's a piece of sleight of hand that's amazing, um, but you're free then to carry on as you were.